Josh, you sent me an and email. And I'm on yeah. Willie Nelson's Roadhouse all, every other week. Yeah. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the Austin Outer Limits radio show. Yeah. Yes, you are. Heard that too. Yeah. And I, I, can I tell you the story because it'll crack you up. Uh, we were doing a movie soundtrack for, uh, for uh, Alamo Bay. Buddy Killen was doing it. And we cut Don't Touch Me If You Don't Love Me for uh, a girl singer who walked into the studio with a half a gallon of wine drunk. And, and he fired her, and he turned to me and said, you're singing it, son. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can imagine Ernest Tubb singing uh, Don't Touch Me If You Don't Love Me. Check out Alamo Bay on the jukebox. It's, uh, yeah. it's me doing Evidently, it. my phone was out of order that day because I, I could have flown in for that. You weren't in, you weren't in Texas that oh, day, Oh, huh? darn, darn. Boy, they play a ton of you guys on Willie's Road. As I hear yeah. miles and miles of Texas every time I turn the radio on there. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they better keep doing that, you know, uh, keep us going. But, yes, uh, and Jeannie's on there. It's a wonderful channel on, uh, I don't it know what is. number. It's got a lot of. 59, like, channel 59. Channel 59. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. I have 7,000 R uh, 78 RPM records, and I, I play a bunch of them. Really? And some 45s. <laughs> what, what do you have to play them on? <laughs> I have a, well, we have to digitize them there, Bill. It's a new oh. thing called digitization. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do we work? Um, yeah, don't it's ask. Magic. <laughs> they, but uh, yeah, they, that is a, that's one of the problems because sometimes you can't find them. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I go up to the attic and get them down, and uh, I play a lot of stuff. So you really are. Somebody said Susie is that you really are a musicologist. I mean, you're really oh, into yeah. music. Yeah, I got a BA, a busted ass. You know? <laughs> 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 no, I love music, and I collect the '78 since I was telling uh, uh, John about a. a we used to go next door to Showbud was uh, a store, and we'd go upstairs, and they had all these old 78s, and we'd buy them for 50 cents. And uh, Buckley's Record Store. What was it called? Buckley's. Buckley's, yeah. Yeah, Lewis the old Buckley. man, we'd, he, he, yeah. he'd say, what do you want them for? I said, oh, how much? 50 cents. <laughs> What's the oldest record you got? Oh, I don't know. I guess right from the late 20s, early. You know, I tell people, you know, we now have 100 years of recorded music. Think about it. Wow. You know, 1920, I think, 1918, 19. And not only that, is you just press a button somewhere or, a, 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 you know. You ever been to your tube? <laughs> your tube. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the hillbilly YouTube. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can see 100 years of recorded music. It's amazing. I got know? a 78 of Patsy Montana's I Want to Be a Cowboy nice. Sweetheart. Yeah. Uh, 1935. 35, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. I was just over in Australia and somebody gave me an Australian 78, Australian pressing of uh, Your Cheating Heart, an Ooh. original one. Wow. wow. They, but they gave it to me on the first day of the tour. So it broke. Yep. Oh, <laughs> wow. what a heartbreak. The, yeah. the Hank Williams record or an yeah. Australian record? It's, it's an Australian pressing of the Hank Williams oh, yeah. Yeah. record. Oh, wow. I got a pet fox. <laughs> <laughs> the, first, the first Johnny Lee record I bought was a 78. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. The, the, 